All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome to another video. Today we'll be taking a closer look, closer look at GI Joe Classified um, Sergeant Slaughter here. Um, <laughs> I love the art we're seeing. Um, there's like very well detailed texturing here, like it's an actual action figure, but it's obviously just art. Um, I like the little image here. I wish this wasn't covering it, up, covering it, but it's, I believe it's Sergeant Slaughter's arm punching through, holding this figure with that figure holding the minifigure that it comes with. Um, so I love that. Very nice art. Um, mine has some sort of um, streaks going on. Probably got um, scratched or whatever. Um, the top over there, you have him screaming, Yo, Joe. Um, he's number 53 in the series. Um, Sergeant Slaughter. There are his, um, I guess, skills. Um, the back, everything we get with this guy. And then the side, very nice artwork of him, just staring. Um, some jets on the on his glasses, but yeah, very nice figure. My brother opened his, so I got to get a sort of preview and mess around with him. And we have some very nice um, things going on with this guy. I also love that we are getting um, Jesus one stuff. Okay, there we go. Um, I love we're getting this, um, this sort of, these characters from the G.I. Joe movie now. Um, Sergeant Slaughter being a big part of that movie. Um, Serpentor, which <laughs> will be a video that's taking a while to upload as we speak. So by the time this comes out, hopefully that is already, that video is already out. But here we have the sergeant slaughter accessory box 53 we've seen these before and here he is um so yeah um i guess we can open up the accessories box but i'll cut away when i have to release sergeant slaughter from his hell cage um oh god really try to keep these things as intact as i can but here we go a whole bunch of good stuff side let's start with the cardboard here um we get his whistle let's see what's the best way to approach this cutting i don't want to damage anything and my knife isn't the strongest as you can see it's not even cutting through there we go not the sharpest knife um i have i really need to find a new knife but we have his whistle we'll take a closer look at all these accessories um, his sort of baton, um, we have the rifle here, which is, yeah, a lot of people complained, it's an AK-47, not very American weapon, and then we have, um, these are his glasses, which is weird that they put the glasses separate, but, I mean, I'm fine with that, it uh, keeps them, um, in shape, um, we have the baggie here, rip that, as always I love the baggie, and we get all the other goodies in here. So, let me get him out of his hell cage, and then we'll take a cl closer look at um, the sergeant himself, and his accessories. Alright, so, got him out of his cage. Um, one quick thing I wanted to point out. The cardboard we've seen before... Um, this is usually on the inside and the whole brown is on the outside so i don't know what's going on here if they like misprinted this but i think from the other joes we've seen the star is inside of the little cardboard tray it's just something i noticed um i don't know maybe i'm going crazy um but we have him out of the, the box here and he is great and I'll say, I think I prefer this um, version rather than the Valiverse um, action force, just because he the, the head looks more human 
it's hard to explain, but the Valiver's version, his chin is very wide and very... People are saying this is very animated look, but I feel like the Valiver's one looks even more animated because it has that wider jaw, sort of like, I don't know, Popeye kind of looking jaw. But, um, I, I don't know, everyone has their preferences, that's just what I saw, but I do prefer the head sculpt with this guy. Um, we'll take a closer look at accessories because we have a whole bunch of stuff to look at. But look at this, we're getting fists now with the um, classified series. So let's take a closer look at accessories because we have a bunch of goodies in there. So as you can see, I just sort of threw everything on here. But um, we have the AK-47, we'll start with that because we've seen this with the Cobra Officer. So there it is. Um, maybe we'll do some zoom in to get that detail um, going. Um, yeah, I really don't know how well the zoom in looks. Um, you guys let me know. Um, does it decrease the quality or something? Is it better if I just shove it into the camera? But we have the AK-47 here um, with the mag. There it goes. And we also get the sort of red dot sight. Um, not the sight, but the red dot laser. Uh, there it goes. So there's that. That's how it looks. And hey, your co casual clone just texted. I'll have to read that in a bit. Um, we have... I really don't know where to start. All right. So we have a stick as well, sort of baton. Um, we have some the gold um, spear at the top, um, some black, and the black sort of tassel. Um, we have the glasses here, the silver um, paint on there, very nice looking um, from the art we saw on the side, and the inside is just brown, so... Um, I mean, I guess it works, because you're not going to see the inside, but yeah, so the glasses are nice. We have a whistle. For our um, drill sergeant, um, you know, got a whistle at them Joes, um, whip them into shape as he says. This is the one I like, a little hat, the emblem on there, looks very nice, a little bit of mist paint there um, in the very middle, um, but honestly it's very small, I mean, I'm able to see that because I'm zooming in. Uh, but yeah, you have a little black trim going around, very nice, and a whole bunch of hands. So we get two pointing hands, very nice, um, sculpted. Um, we get sort of a whistle holding hand or a gun holding hands, um, whatever you want to use them for. Um, two sort of very grabby, grabby hands going on here. Um, and then we have, <laughs> I think, the best accessory ever. A mini Sergeant Slaughter. So this is now the world's smallest action figure, I would say. Um, you have a nice star at the back there. And then they did a pretty neat thing. I don't want to um, open it, but you can take it out if you want. Um, they made it so that these flaps go around this. So you just unfold those. You can take out the retro card. As you can see, it's sliding out. Take out the retro card and then you can take out the uh, figure himself. So yeah, those are the accessories and now we'll take a closer look at Sergeant Slaughter. All right everyone, so here we have him. Um, he, he's, he looks great, uh, I'll say that. Um, people don't like the white belt um, but you know there's different variations or looks to him and this is the most animated accurate one I think. Um, but articulation, you can look up pretty well. That's very good. Um, you can look down pretty good. Um, you can also look up because he's still on that disc hinge, um, which I honestly do prefer. It, it just allows for more movement up rather than the dumbbell joints where it's just like you can only get about that much. But anyway... Um, Arms go out about that much. He has upper 
bicep swivel. He has butterfly joints, um, double jointed elbows, and all of his hands hinge up and down, horizontal. Um, people complained also about the uh, pinned joints. I don't mind it. Um, it's all one solid um, skin color, so that's fine with me. There's the ab crunch, pretty good forward and back. And we swivel, you can kick pretty well. Upper thigh cut, double jointed, oh my joints are tight. I mean, I just got him out of the box, but double jointed knees and he can kick his own butt. Boot swivel, um, feet go back and forth and he has ankle pivot. So that is the articulation with this guy. And <laughs> this guy looks great overall. Um, where we'll zoom in. We have that same textured um, shirt we've seen with classified. Um, I don't know if it's reused from Roadblock. Um, I guess we'll zoom out and do a size comparison. Um, I don't know if that's the same shirt. It may be. Uh, yeah, it's the same shirt as the Roadblock. Um, pants are different. I think these are new pants if I'm not mistaken. We have new knee pads and new shoes or boots. I, I, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, there's the size comparison. He's about the same size as Roblox. I would say the arms are are I think the same. I'm looking for like the vein um, detailing, but yeah, I think it's the same because we also have those arm bands, so that's the same. So, about Roblox size, about that size for an idea. And here's the Outback. And to compare him, because of course we have to pose him with Serpentor, him um, beating the crap out of Serpentor. Yeah, Serpentor is one big guy. I mean, just look at that. Um, but yeah, um, the face and everything, paint-wise, everything is pretty good. Um, mine has a little bit of brown right there. That's about it. Um, his face, very well sculpted and painted. Um, going around his head. Very nice brown hair color. Here's the back. Lots of detailing as we've seen with classified. New knee pads, I believe, and pants. I don't think we've seen this sort of pant with a seam. And then the boots are new as well. And I like these boots. So, yeah. Um, that will conclude um, this uh review is very fun character to have um i was on the fence about him for a bit but after having him in hand i can say he is a joy to have um especially after watching the movie i he grew more on me but you know there we go i just got him in the pose come at me um but yeah that will conclude the review Stick around for the um, photo gallery. I always have fun posing my figures. And I will see you guys in the next video.